Hello everyone, my name is Carlos Morales. I run AI for Ambic. So I, I introduced uh, our product earlier, the Apollo 4 Plus. Um, this slide looks like if, if, you're, if you've been in, in tech in Silicon Valley for a long time, you've seen slides like this, where someone makes an, an exotic claim, 16 times less power, not 16%, 16 times. And so when I join Ambic, one of the first things I do is I go run uh, some AI benchmarks, MLPerf benchmarks, which include power measurements. And the first time I ran it, it uh, I thought I had dropped to zero. It was like the power numbers were so low that I thought, okay, my math is wrong. Turns out you can't get the math wrong. The, the way the benchmark is set up, it, they don't want people getting the math wrong. So when I verified that, that was very exciting because a 10x improvement, I was measuring 13 to 16x, but even a 10x improvement is huge. It means you can do 10 times more stuff or you can do stuff that you couldn't do before, like more, more sophisticated stuff. It is such an empowering, powerful uh, advantage. It's just stop worrying about your battery because it's going to be there for you. And the way we do it is by reducing the voltage. That's what subthreshold means. So if, if there are any EEs in the room, you know that transistors are traditionally thought to be switching devices like binary on and off. And that's not true. These these are kind of, I almost, I, I may, no, I didn't flunk, but I almost flunked EE uh, circuits. So, uh, they, they, they have uh, operating modes in between the on and the off. And that's what Ambic is really taking advantage of. We're, we're able to make these transistors behave as the switches are intended to, to, to be. Um, but we're, we're able to do that at much lower uh, voltage. And that has huge uh, energy implications.